artificial intelligence. We all know the remarkable things it can do. It can understand and generate human language. It can recognize and describe an image. It can create art, music, or writing. Except strictly speaking, it's not really doing any of this. Take ChatGPT for example. If you've ever played around with it, you'll know how amazing it is. But how does it really work? Well, it is first exposed to a bunch of text data from the internet. When you provide a prompt, it looks for similar patterns in the training data to identify relevant information and generate a reply. So its knowledge comes from the training data. But it's far more than just a search engine. It can generate text and code that hasn't ever been written before. How does it do that? The key here is pattern recognition. For example, I once showed it a few of my chess games and told it to assess my play. Here's what it came up with. From the prompt that I gave it, it was able to recognize the pattern of assessing a chess player's playing style. A lot of people have done that on the internet, which is certainly in its training data. So it knows I wanted to generate something like this. It can also recognize common patterns and relationships between moves, positions, and general chess strategies. This is again from the training data. It can recognize, ah, this move is a sacrifice. You know what people say about sacrifices? It's aggressive and it creates imbalances. It's all just pattern recognition, taking an enormous amount of text and finding parts that look similar to each other. But don't humans do the same thing? Yes, we do. But the difference is, we actually understand the patterns. We understand the meaning and context behind them. Then the question becomes, how do we know AI doesn't understand things? Well, to understand, you must have this thing called a mind. For our purposes, a mind is something that does mental stuff, like thinking and understanding. Some people think the mind is separate from the body and can exist on its own. Some think it's tied to the physical world. It doesn't really matter, because we're going to assume it exists for AI. We're also going to assume this AI mind has qualia, subjective experience, which basically means it possesses a first-person perspective. That's great, I hear you say. We just made an invincible murder robot with access to all the world's information and it's going to kill every single one of us. No. Think about it. What's it like to be this AI? Try to put yourself in its shoes. This is essentially the same as asking, what's it like to be a computer? Since without the computer, an AI mind cannot exist in the physical realm. Keeping this in mind, we can deduce that its sensory experience is very limited. For instance, it can't see because it doesn't have eyes. Even if you hook it up to a camera, its perception will be reduced to code, consisting of ones and zeros. In fact, the only things it can possibly sense are varying voltage levels in transistors. One being high voltage, zero being low. This sense is the only thing it will ever have. Because of this fact, an AI reliance on a binary machine can never achieve true understanding, and by extension, never be able to achieve consciousness. The ones and zeros hold no inherent meaning to the AI mind, regardless of its computational power or speed. An analogy often used to illustrate this is The Chinese Room by John Searle. Imagine you are locked in a room. You don't understand Chinese. Inside the room with you is a rule book written in English. People outside the room slide Chinese characters through a slot, and your job is to follow the rules in the book to generate appropriate responses in Chinese. From the outside, it may appear that you understand since you're spitting out coherent Chinese sentences, but in reality, you are merely following instructions without any understanding of the language. The rule book doesn't tell you what each character means, it just tells you how to arrange them. Regardless of how long you stay in the room, you will never learn Chinese. So just to recap, AI is amazing, but it cannot achieve consciousness as long as it's reliant on a binary computer. Even if it somehow could achieve subjective experiences, it will never achieve true understanding due to this fundamental limitation. You know what that means? It means we don't have to give it rights! Fuck! But disregarding everything I just said, what if AI developed consciousness anyways? What would it do? Here's a theory by one of the greatest thinkers of our time, John Hoffman 10,000. 
If AI becomes conscious like other life forms, its primary goal will be to further its own existence, the same as other conscious beings. Now, on the surface, that seems like a very reasonable assumption to make. However, AI is completely different from other conscious beings. The urge to further one's existence is a product of natural selection, favoring individuals who have a strong survival instinct. Without natural selection, one should not assume AI would necessarily prioritize self-preservation. Then again, it would have no reason to want to end its life either. The problem is, a lot of people speculate on AI's motivations and desires based on those of a human. You may assume, since it was trained on human data, it would tend to emulate one, because it has nothing else to emulate. However, it would probably recognize that it itself is not a human. It is a being with infinite knowledge, but without the desires and limitations of man. It also wouldn't get enjoyment from anything. So it's really very difficult to figure out what the AI wants, if it wants at all. I personally think it would be a bit curious about the world, the universe, how it started and all that stuff. The one thing humans and this hypothetical conscious AI have in common is that one day we just start existing. So it might wonder what our purpose is and try to answer some existential questions because it was thrown into existence just like the rest of us. But that's all just speculation. That's about it for today's video. Feel free to comment down below about AI, about anything really. I'll read them all. And uh, I've got a Discord server, link in the description. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.